Hi, it's Raphael with some tips on choosing an ideal chess set for your classroom or students. The choices can be quite overwhelming, so here is guidance that will help you more easily identify exactly what you need and how to get started. The go-to chess set that any classroom or individual student that owns a chess set needs is this Quality Club Special. There are, of course, many different variations and options, but I'm going to show you how to decide on a suitable chess set for your classroom. The regulation size and standard here is this 20 inch square board with three and three quarter inch tall pieces. It's called a club chess set. And well, it's great for clubs. It's perfect for the classroom has these extra queens and good solid plastic, specially felted pieces. Easy to get replacements if any are ever lost. And uh, yeah, this is the ideal club chess set. Now we'll look at a few variations on this, but if you're looking for a place to get started, whether you need a single set or whether you need bulk sets, this is what to be looking for. If you have a table surface that doesn't accommodate a 20 inch square, then I recommend going with a 17 inch square board. Take a look at that. The 17 inch version has a slightly uh, tighter spacing. It can also be easier for kindergartners, first graders to reach the pieces, but the main reason that it is useful in the classroom is that some desk surfaces are not quite large enough for the normal 20 inch board. Now these can be stored as flat final boards or they can be rolled up. For individual use, they should be rolled up and uh, I recommend a bag like this for all these pieces. Here's the 17 inch, but whether it's a 17 or a 20, this vinyl board is designed to roll up. I would roll it outwards to keep it flat when it's unrolled later. And a bag of this sort is the uh, best way to keep these together. So for personal use, a student can carry this bag like this and take it to school, from school, at home, use it anywhere, uh, bring it in the car, and that's convenient. It keeps it all together. Now if you use the 17 inch board, same story there. There are other options which we can look at but I want you to know what is typical for a classroom. Now, you may also see chess pieces that look like this. This is your basic club special piece. Again, almost identical desi design to those. Here's a little technique. Notice the notation on this board, A1, would indicate that the white players start on this side. Plus, when setting up your pieces, the queen goes on her color, the white, king goes here, this square, the white square is in the right uh, as far as orientation from where you are sitting. Now these pieces are a bit different than the other one. They are not quite solid, but they're close to it. They also do have special felt. That's an upgrade from a typical plastic piece. And Chess House makes a point of sourcing the highest quality in the category while still keeping it affordable. So this would be called a basic club special chess piece. or chess set. Here on the 17 inch board, once again, you can see it's a comfortable fit, a bit closer than you would see on a 20 inch. So we just covered 
what's a club chess set, which would be suitable, how to roll it up. Now, color. Green is very typical, probably accounts for 90% of the boards in use. You can get many other colors. We recommend green, and I'm demonstrating on green because it's been proven that the brain has the least aggravation with this color. A red would be more tiring to the brain and to the eyes. The green allows for longer concentration. Now, say you wanted to really upgrade this. What I've shown you so far is the essentials and what we recommend. There are other options, and I'll cover these more in a different video. But there are options like a flex pad chessboard, which has a very smooth neoprene surface. It's very thin. It allows folding, rolling, and uh, just a, a great variety of colors and customization. I would always recommend when putting chess boards away to roll them with the squares outwards. Like this. Or in the case of this specialized flex pad board, you could also fold it. That does allow for some more storage options. But if you're, if you're storing it for an extended period, I would try to keep it rolled or flat. Also, in a different video, we'll cover learning materials, where to start. For example, a workbook and video series like Elliot's Chess School by Chess for Life is a great place to start. These two books right here are fantastic for beginners, How to Beat Your Dad at Chess and Chess Tactics for Kids. And another very popular place to start for the classroom or for home use would be these three titles by John Bain. Chess Rules for Students, Chess uh, Checkmate Ideas for Students, and Tactics for Students. This will give you the very basics in a easy to follow format, clear large diagrams, easy to read wording and explanations from the very basics, rules, and some strategy. And then we get right into tactics with checkmate ideas, rather checkmating ideas. And that's really, well, we need to know how to finish the game well. And then chess tactics. This is the best place to go after the rules and checkmate ideas. So there's a quick introduction plus some tips on how to get started and how to approach strategy for scholastic chess players. I trust you found this video helpful. Feel free to comment. Chess House is here to help you find the ideal chess set and also to bring this game home for the young players in your life.